there is an international registry of donors and there are more than 10 million donors in, in that uh, registry and uh, uh, we usually uh, uh, contact uh, National Marrow Donor Program or NMDP and uh, try to find a, a donor uh, for our patients. Uh, it's, a, uh, a, uh, I would say, uh, a lengthy way uh, and uh, it, it takes sometimes uh, months to find a donor, but uh, uh, it's uh, I would say a very organized way to find donors for patients who need an unrelated donor. That's actually the bottom line and if you could uh, get more uh, donors to uh, come forward and uh, get registered, uh, you know, it, it uh, increases the chance of finding a donor. For the procedure is quite straightforward. You need to do a health screening uh, uh, questionnaire and then they do a buccal swab. They uh, uh, turn a piece of uh, uh, cotton bud through your uh, mouth and get some cells and then they uh, look at the uh, HLA uh, of you and the, uh, you go through the, uh, you enter the bank. It takes about four to six weeks uh, uh, to get the results. So the, the bone marrow transplant, uh, 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 it's, uh, we could get the stem cells uh, either directly from the bone marrow so that the donor would go to a, a, a bone marrow transplant center and uh, gets uh, actually assessed and then uh, it's done on the, if we do it uh, from the bone marrow, uh, itself, uh, the, the donor uh, needs to undergo general anesthesia and then uh, uh, the two physicians uh, stand on each side of the, uh, of the donor while uh, the donor is lying on, on uh, his or her belly and they uh, extract the bone marrow from the uh, hip bones. Uh, the other way to get a stem cell is to uh, give a hormone which is called granulocyte colony stimulating factor or GCSF and uh, it goes to the bone marrow, it stimulates the bone marrow to produce more white blood cells, particularly neutrophils, and then it makes the bone marrow to release this, uh, it makes the bone marrow release these cells uh, quicker uh, to the peripheral blood. So the donors receive this uh, shot once a day for five days and then they go to the bone marrow center and we harvest the stem cells from the peripheral blood. So they don't need to uh, undergo the bone marrow harvest so they don't need to have general anesthesia. So th these days actually we are doing more and more prefer blood harvesting rather than uh, taking the bone marrow uh, and extracting it from the, the, the hip bones. Uh, we uh, collect the, the stem cells in, into a bag, it's the same as the, um, as the uh, a blood bag. Uh, uh, there are certain solutions which keep the, the stem cells alive and then we uh, for the patient, uh, we need to give them high-dose chemotherapy, we call it condition regimen, to wipe out the bone marrow and the immune system uh, and make the, the body prepared for the, for the donated stem cells. And then, uh, so it, this is a procedure that takes three to five days and then the patient receives the stem cells. It's like actually hanging a, a bag of blood. So we hang the stem cells and uh, it uh, goes through a vein uh, to the patient. It takes time actually for stem cells to uh, home their, themselves in, in the bone marrow, start growing and actually we call it engraftment and gradually uh, the, the uh, patient starts uh, uh, showing uh, uh, improvement in, in, in blood cells. Uh, it's a very meticulous, meticulous and detailed procedure and uh, 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 needs uh, full-time care and uh, teamwork of, uh, of uh, transplant physicians, uh, nurses, pharmacists, uh, microbiologists and uh, 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 but we have done it actually here. We are one of the actually center of excellence uh, uh, here at UNMC and we have been doing transplant uh, for, uh, uh, for about 30 years actually.